All right, everyone, welcome back to another video. And on today's video, we'll be talking about another airline that I have flown in the past, and that is JetBlue. And that's coming up right after this. All right, hey everyone, welcome back to Traveling with Justin. I am Justin, and today, is August the 29th of 2023. It's a Tuesday. Of course it's a Tuesday because it's a Tuesday release video, right? All right, and so I'm going to be talking about JetBlue today. It's one of the airlines I have flown before. I'm only going to talk about the airlines I fly because why should I talk about some airline I haven't flown before so I don't know the experience. All right, so JetBlue was founded in 19... 98 it was in august as new air okay that's the name of the airline when it was founded and so it was founded by david nils nilman i hope that's right i'll put it down here and yeah he founded that as new air and it commenced on february 11th of, tw of 2000 so yeah that was like 23 years ago when it was uh first commenced when JetBlue was founded it went off of the philosophy of Southwest which we'll be talking about next week um, of a cheap discounted airline okay but how are they going to distinguish themselves from Southwest and the new new air airplane I'm not sure when they changed it to JetBlue yeah, I'm not quite sure but yeah, Southwest is famous for their cheap airfare, and then we'll be talking about that next week. So JetBlue decided, you know what we're going to do? We're going to do something different. We are going to do an in-flight entertainment. That means TV at every seat, satellite radio, and you can pick your own seat before boarding. That is something new if, if you've only flown um, Southwest. But yeah, so, and... Southwest made their model on Boeing, which I'll be talking about next week as well. You know. So, Air, um, JetBlue decided, you know what, we're going to go the same route, but we're going to do the Airbus route. We're going to do all Airbus airplanes. So, they have a fleet of um, an A220-300. They have 17 in service and 83 on order. An Airbus A320-200, they have 130 in service, nothing on order. Uh, they have an A321-200, and that is 63, so nothing on order. An Airbus, or an A321LR, um, um, long range, uh, they have seven of those and five on order. And then they have an a321 neo and they have 20 of those and 39 on order and then they have an a321 x6r and they have 13 of those on order they don't have any in service yet they have an embracer 190 they have 48 of those in service right now all right so yeah gem blue has kind of a, a strange history all right they they're trying to make their mark on the airline industry. They've entered into several different code sharing programs. Um, Air Lingus, uh, Air Siberia, um, Azul Brazilian, Cape Air, LA, LA, yeah, I'll put it right down here. Um, Ithiad, uh, JSX, Hawaiian, like we talked about last week, Iceland Air, a um, lot Polish Airlines, Porter, Seaborn, Silver, South African, Qatar, Royal Air, and Turkish. So, they, yeah, they have an extensive network of code sharing. Um, but back in 2007, um, I'm going to mispronounce this, uh, Lasandia, it's a German airline, and JetBlue, they, they decided to share um, code, but LaFonza wa um, wanted to 
get more a little bit more of operational control of JetBlue. So they purchased 19% of JetBlue. And they decided, you know, to share the code and things like that. And so JetBlue switched over the reservation system to Saber so that they can help with, I can go and book a flight from Salt Lake City to JFK on JetBlue and then book my continuing flight to Berlin on Lafsana. I'm, I need to I need to pronounce that word, and so that that made it even easier. And then you could also transfer my luggage to that airline to go on to Berlin, so I don't have to worry about going out, che getting it, checking it back in, and yeah, jumping on another plane. Okay, so in 2013, JetBlue decided to up their game, and they went with something called Mint um, on transcontinental and some select Caribbean flights where you have a premium cabin. So kind of like the first class on other airlines. Yeah, Mint, yeah. And then they decided, so when they started flying international, that was in 2019, they started um, flying from Boston and New York, with JFK, because that's where they fly out of, to London, they decided, you know what? We are going to introduce Mint Suites. So it's kind of like a business class experience, but on JetBlue. Now, I've never flown JetBlue um, internationally. I've only flown them here in the United States. So I don't know what the Mint Suites all are about. I just usually get economy because that's all I can afford. That in 2023, they're going to fly to Paris from New York. And in 2023, they announced that they are going to expand into Amsterdam. So JetBlue is expanding. So it started out as a small um, discounted air to compete with Southwest. But over the years since it was conceived and put into place, it has gone a long way. Now they're flying international. So that, that's pretty good. Back in 2008, they partnered with BlackBerry and Yahoo. So that means if you had a BlackBerry cell phone, I never owned a BlackBerry, but if you had a BlackBerry, you could check your messages, respond, you know, stuff and do things like that. You know, on an airplane back in 2008. And then you can use Yahoo to look at a few things as well. So that was, that was clear back in 2008. So that was pretty good, you know, leap in technology. And they got a license to fly to Cuba in 2015. I'm not sure if that's still going on or not, but you never know. So JetBlue's focus cities are Boston, Fort Lauderdale, Los Angeles, New York, JFK, Orlando, San Juan, that's in Puerto Rico. They have the frequent flyer mileage program called True Blue. They have 285 planes. Destinations are 104. And their headquarters are in Long Island. It's in Queens of New York. They also have some in Florida and in Utah. And they have over 22,000 employees. Yeah, and back in 2018, JetBlue went back to Ontario, California. They even started up services in Bozeman, uh, Montana, and uh, Steamboat Springs, Colorado. So they are advancing. Yes, they fly in and out of Salt Lake City, but that's not one of their focus cities. I don't know why. But it is what it is, right? And so that is... A brief thing about JetBlue. Now, I've flown on JetBlue a few times. I've flown a red eye um, from Salt Lake to Fort Lauderdale. Mm, I won't do red eye anymore. Um, yeah, that was just not good. And I flew a nonstop back from Fort Lauderdale to Salt Lake City. On that flight back, the in flight entertainment, uh, the TV in the back of the screen for my wife did not work. And she let me know the full five hour flight. I told her I would switch with her, but she didn't want in the middle. And so, 
I, and then, yeah, I've flown JetBlue from Salt Lake to Orlando, Orlando to New York, and it was fine. You know, the entertainment was good, the snacks were good, and I can't remember if they're Coke or Pepsi, but I just drink water anyway. But, yeah, so, and let's see, uh, um, I can't remember the other times I've flown JetBlue, but it's been a few times. And it's been an okay airline, all except for the mishap with my um, wife's TV, in-screen TV, and the seat that didn't work. Yeah. But if, if you're looking for a good alternative to uh, flying, and if you're in one of these focused cities that JetBlue has, I would suggest maybe flying with them. I'm not associated with them or anything like that, but, you know, give JetBlue a try. Because they are trying to strive to be a better airline. Alright, so thanks for coming and watching this video today. And if you like this video, I would appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up. You know, it would really help the channel out. And if you want, join. Subscribe to the channel so you can get notified of, oh, so you have to hit that bell icon, of videos I put out. Right now I'm putting out a video a week on Tuesdays. And so... If you want to have more, hit that subscribe button and the bell notification. And until the next video, I will see you later. Bye. And that's all, folks.